Bonjour à tous, soyez les bienvenus. Hello and welcome to this week's Business Planet from Rotterdam. The city is buzzing with imaginative entrepreneurs keen to tap the enormous potential Europe's Earth Observation Space Program Copernicus offers. Copernicus, avec nous, Ivo, vous êtes... Ivo Visser is a risk analyst for a major energy utility based here. Have you worked with these entrepreneurs? Yes, and you have worked with one of these entrepreneurs. Yeah. Yes, in the Netherlands, the ground moves a lot, causing problems for our underground gas pipes. Using Copernicus, we're able to predict these movements. And now we'll see how this has been developed. Next stop, Delft, close to Rotterdam. This is where maps showing the potential underground instability risk for the gas network are produced. Peter set up his small company developing an application using Copernicus's satellite imagery. What we produce here is a map of how rapidly the streets and the homes in the city of Rotterdam are subsiding. And the color of the dots that you see here tells you for each of these locations how fast it's going down. This sharp idea is accurate to within a millimeter and it's considerably modified the way the big energy companies monitor their networks. Before we came along, the only way that stating could assess if there's a problem with the gas pipeline as a result of this subsidence was essentially to send out two people in a car, have them dig a hole and inspect visually in the hole. This application is also used in other fields like oil exploration, mining, dams and railways. And it's a booming market. Peter has already grabbed 200 clients around the world and is counting on tripling his turnover in 2017. 25 people work here and in offices in Houston and San Francisco. Copernicus is currently uh, uh, acquiring these uh, radar images proactively over large parts of the world and uh, it really enables us to go and deliver this product anywhere essentially. So Ivo, what has been the overall impact of this new technology? We can improve our maintenance planning and infrastructure network safety, and we're able to save up to 90% in costs in some cases. The European Space Agency's Copernicus Earth Observation satellites are having a real impact on businesses. It's estimated they've been able to generate up to 15,000 jobs per year, and main backer, the European Commission, wants to further strengthen this economic booster. What advice would you give Ivo to anyone wanting to develop this sort of project with success? Work together on a tailor-made solution for a problem. That's how we did it. Thank you very much, Ivo. For more information, check Business Planet's webpage. See you in a fortnight for the next program.